Hey, my friends, I want to take a few minutes with you today to share another grace moment. And in today's grace moment, I want to help you just in case you've ever been sitting in a church service and the pastor says, turn with me today to Revelations chapter three, and I'm going to tell you if you're a lukewarm Christian, God is disgusted with you. He's going to spit you out of his mouth. And you're sitting there thinking, oh, yeah, that's probably me. I missed a few services this last past month. This last past month, I haven't given all my tithe. I, you know, I told the choir director I couldn't make choir rehearsal because I didn't feel good, but I really just didn't want to go. You know, they've been asking me to find something to do here in the church, and I'm just kind of hesitant because... I don't really want to do anything. And and you're sitting there, you're thinking, oh, yeah, that, that must be, that might be me. I, I'm probably one of those lukewarm people. And then condemnation comes and guilt comes, shame comes, and you're sitting there and you're totally now disengaged from everything you're hearing because all you know is that based upon what you your actions have been over the past month or two, you think that you fit in this category, that you're lukewarm and that God is disgusted with you and he's going to spit you out of your mouth, out of his mouth. And it's your opportunity now to get right and fly right from here. Well, one interesting point. When they, when, when, well, let me use me for an example. When I was ever in church hearing this before I started preaching myself, they would always say, you know, I'd rather you be hot or cold, but lukewarm, I'd spit you out of my mouth. And then the, the preacher would just rattle off for the next, however long he was going to, he or she was going to rattle off and tell you how you need to be on fire for God. On fire, on fire, on fire. You need to be on fire, sold out, giving God your all. And they never told us. No one, I, I can't recall any time anyone ever said anything about us being cold like we can be cold because it does say hot or cold right but no one ever said well you can be hot or you can be cold well why because their understanding of revelations chapter 3 my understanding of revelations chapter 3 for a long time was all based upon performance what we did our church service, our attendance, our giving, our working for the church, our laboring for the Lord. It was all taught around the premise of performance. So you look at yourself and you determine whether you're hot. You determine whether you're doing everything you need to do. Because if you're not, God's going to spit you out of his mouth with disgust. Well, I want to tell you today, that is so wrong all day long. Because, and, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm only going to give you a few reasons why it's so wrong, okay? Number one, Revelation is written about Jesus Christ. Jesus is the revelation of Jesus. So let me ask you a few questions. Did we ever see Jesus disgusted with anyone? Was he disgusted with the woman caught in adultery? No. Was he disgusted with the woman at the well who had already been married five times and now was living with a man she wasn't married with? No. Was Jesus disgusted with Zacchaeus, this terrible tax collector, this thief who was really causing great financial harm to everyone who he stole money from by way of collecting taxes? No. Was he disgusted with Judas, the one he knew would betray him? No. We saw no signs ever of Jesus ever being disgusted with anyone based upon their performance or disgusted with anyone for any reason. We don't see it, it's not there. So let's get rid of that right there. Revelations chapter three, that chapter about, the, when it's speaking to that church about hot, cold, or lukewarm, it, is, it has nothing to do with you and I. It is not about us. It is not about what you're doing, what you're not doing in the sense of, if, if you're not doing enough of it, if you're, if you're just kinda in the middle, God is gonna be disgusted with you. This has been an error in teaching for centuries, maybe. But let me really quick tell you what it does mean. It's talking about the grace of God and the law of Moses. When you're trying to take grace and mix it with law, it becomes undesirable. Think about it. On a hot, hot day, what do you want? 
something cold, right? On a cold, cold day, what do you want? Something hot. Both are very desirable. So if it's hot or cold or lukewarm is the bad place, if it was about performance, then again, no one ever told us we can be cold because it's not about performance. It's not about our attendance and our giving and all the things that we were told it was all about. It's about trying to take law and mix it with grace because when you mix the two together, you get this very nasty, undesirable taste or mixture or, or concoction. You get this really unuseful mixture of these two because they don't mix. You know, it's oil and water. They don't mix together. So if you ever hear someone telling you from Revelations chapter 3 that if you're lukewarm, God's going to spit you out of his mouth because he's disgusted with you, they are wrong. You've heard it wrong. Our Father, who loves you more than you and I can ever comprehend in our minds. We're, 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 we're being awakened to it a little bit more. We're, we're, we, are, uh, we are becoming more aware. But we'll, we'll never probably fully get it all, just how deep and passionate and unconditional his love for us is. Well, there's no place in there at all. For being disgusted. There's no place in that love that I just told you about that says, I'm going to spit you out. There's no place for that there at all. So I want you to know from the heart of our father, from his heart, which is coming out of my mouth, I hope to your ears, I want you to know that it is impossible, absolutely impossible for our father who loves you so very much and unconditionally to ever be disgusted with you. He will never be. So that whole lukewarm thing doesn't apply to you, the individual, the way you have been taught and have been told. It's about trying to take grace and trying to mix law. And when the two come together, it's just undesirable. It, it doesn't produce anything good. Okay. I know this grace moment is a little bit longer than, than most, but I had to uh, kind of spend a little bit more time with it to kind of unpack that whole thing because I want you to wake up every day with a great joy and a great excitement knowing that no matter what happens today you're unconditionally loved by dad because that's just what he decided to do because that's just who he is okay <laughs> I'm getting all excited here but anyway I love you and as I always say grace is big and our father who loves us unconditionally wants us to enjoy every single bit of it I'll talk to you soon God bless bye-bye